Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create an iOS application. It's going to be a Hello World app, and we're going to use Xamarin Studio. So I'm going to enter full screen in my VMware and start up Xamarin Studio. Okay, so we're going to create a new solution. It's going to be a C Sharp iOS iPhone single view application. So we're going to call this Hello World 5. I'm going to uncheck Create Directory for Solution and hit OK. So we're going to define our interface. We're going to click on this XIB file. It's going to open it up in uh, Xcode Interface Builder. So you're going to double click on it. Give it some time to open up Xcode and here we have our interface builder so I'm going to drag the button onto the canvas here, the view and I'm going to double click on the button and change its name or its text to press me so there's its caption okay so I'm going to enter split view here and just minimize this left panel so we can see more and I'm going to control drag Nope, I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, we need to change our file to our .h file, .h view control file. I think this is the header file in Objective C and C++. So we're going to control drag press me and drop it in this uh, code here. Change the connection to action. Change the name or give it a name. The action is going to be button touch me or touch up inside or something or touch up and we're going to change the type to UI button so we don't need to cast the uh, sender to access its properties and touch up inside we'll just leave that be that's what we want arguments sender and we'll hit connect and that's all we need to do you can go to file um, save or you can just press window key S uh, to save if you're saving in a, a virtual machine. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is go to our designer view here, or our designer file here. This is the designer generated portion of the Hello World 5 view controller class. And this partial here will allow us to provide an implementation for our action. So I'm going to go to our code here in the view controller and we're going to type in partial space and then I'm just going to press tab to automatically generate this code here. Um, and you can see that we have our button here as a UI button. We don't need to cast it and we're just going to set its title. So when it's touched up we're going to set the title to Hello World. And you can't really set the title any other way because when you set the title, you have to specify the UI control state. And I think it's because different states can have different text. Okay, and that's about it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from iOS device to the simulator so you can see what's going on iPhone simulator of course because this is an iPhone app and I'm going to uh, go to run start debugging and it's going to open up the iPhone simulator and we're going to hit press me and as soon as our mouse goes up it's going to change the title. So with the touch up inside event you can drag outside of the button to cancel the event or to cancel the touch operation. So I'm going to break this and we're going to hit click and then you can hold it out here for a while if you want to but if it's anywhere outside of the button then the events not going to raise you can drag it back into the button like I did like that with the uh, mouse down. 
So you may be wondering why you don't have a border for your buttons anymore and stuff like that. It's just because with iOS 7 your buttons are supposed to be flat and borderless. So don't worry about it. 